Welcome to the latest update on the upcoming KSPR applications for the CASPA KRC20 community. Starting with the highly anticipated wallet extension for Chrome. This new wallet is being designed to be clean and easy to use. Our goal is to make it a solid, secure uh, custodian for your KRC20 assets. We are working hard to build extra layers of security in tools so you can feel confident that you, your precious assets are safe. Next, we're developing a new Web3 application that's all about privacy and control over your data. Nothing is stored locally. All data comes directly from secure external APIs. This app will, uh, will feature a streamlined look and feel, giving you everything you need to manage your portfolio, browse the marketplace, and here's the exciting part, prepare for Casplex's upcoming swap feature. Lab -lab. Before we move on, please remember, none of these apps or features are guaranteed for release just yet. Everything you're seeing here is subject to change, and features may be adjusted at any time without notice. So let's take a closer look at what the new wallet will offer. It's set up to show estimated prices for all your KRC20 assets, updated directly from the KSPR bot marketplace. This wallet covers all the basics managing contacts, sending and receiving KRC20 assets, and CASPA, and even importing and exporting private keys. For extra security, we're also adding two-factor authentication for transactions, creating an extra barrier against scams. In the future, this wallet will even be able to sign transactions in Web3 applications, allowing you to place sales orders in the marketplace, or buy assets, all from the same secure platform. Now, to keep things straightforward, minting will remain with the KSPR bot. You can simply transfer your minted KRC20 assets to this wallet for an added layer of security. Since this wallet is still in development on testnet, I'll use a couple of applications from an earlier tutorial to show the progress we've made so far in receiving CASPA and KRC20 assets. Let's start by sending some CASPA, followed by a testnet KRC20 token I created. If you'd like to try out this code later, you can find the repository link in the video description. Next, a big announcement from Casplex. They're enhancing the KRC20 ecosystem by optimizing the protocol for liquidity pools. This improvement is all about creating a solid and secure solution for the KRC20 community, keeping us on track where while we wait for smart contracts and layer two updates on CASPA. The CASPLEX indexer plays a major role here. It continuously scans the CASPA network for new data, processes transactions, and keeps track of token balances, ownership, and distribution. By using these powerful indexer mechanics, CASPLEX can reliably update liquidity pool states and manage token balances. This Web3 app operates solely on-chain, natively within CASPA, with no off-chain integrations like Ethereum. This approach keeps us aligned with CASPA's core principles of decentralization and scalability, allowing us to evolve alongside its technology. The app won't store or manage any data locally, giving users greater control over privacy and security. Instead, it securely pulls all necessary information from external APIs, uh, including CASPLEX indexers, CASPA services, and data from your wallet after secure authorization. In your portfolio, you'll see a comprehensive breakdown of your assets, pending CASPA to claim from minting, listing orders, and any earnings from swap pools collaborations. We're also introducing a front-end interface that lets you, you create swap pairs against CASPA directly within the app. The marketplace will remain accessible online, allowing you to view and manage your orders through the KSPR wallet seamlessly. This app will also provide insights across all tokens, featuring a dashboard with a full view of the ecosystem. Plus, we're exploring a voting mechanism for KRC20 assets, or KDAO, which uh, could unlock exciting new possibilities for the community. Looking ahead, we may support a transition to ZK Rollup Layer 2 in collaboration with the CASPA community. 
ensuring compatibility and a smooth migration of liquidity pools if this layer becomes available. Again, please note that none of these apps or, or features are, are guaranteed for release just yet. Everything discussed here is still under consideration and may change as we wait for Casplex to release its new features. All features are subject to adjustment at any time without prior notice. That's it for this uh, update. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you found this content valuable. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials and insights like this. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the latest developments in this technology and beyond. Let's keep exploring and learning together. Until the next time, cheers.